Hello, bonjour and namaste. In the last videos, we have all learnt about the principles of the resisted exercises. Now it's time to learn how to progress the muscle performance by understanding the regimens of the resisted exercises that is progressive resisted exercises. For this, we all have come across the most important term that is repetition maximum. Now what is repetition maximum? Now 1 RM it is the maximum amount of weight that can be lifted once only through the prescribed range against the gravity. So 1 RM is different for different persons. Hence, there is need to calculate 1 RM before prescribing the exercises. Now, it is very easy to calculate 1 RM. For the calculation, you just need free weights of different uh, kgs. Now, to start with uh, calculation of 1 RM, you, uh, you take a 1 kg weight in your hand and you progress to full range of motion against gravity. If you are able to do so, then progress the weight to 2 kg. Now, if you are able to do so, you can progress it to 3 and you can then progress it to 4 kgs. If you are able to take that free weight against gravity to a full range and without compensation. And when you take it to 5 kg weight, you suddenly realized that you are not able to complete that range of motion because it is heavier. So you somehow manage to take it to half range. So what will be your 1 RM? Your 1 RM would be equal to 4 because you are you were able to take that 4 kgs against gravity for the full range of motion. So your 1 RM is equal to 4 kgs. I hope you understand this concept of 1 RM. Now similarly what is 10 RM? The maximum amount of weight which can be lifted 10 times at natural speed without rest between the lifts. So if I say that my 1 RM is 4 kg would be my 10 RM would also be 4 kgs. It might be or it might not be it might be less than that also. Fine. So 1 RM may or may not be equal to 10 RM. It might be less than that. So I hope you understand the concept of 1 RM and the 10 RM. Thank you.